Hi everyone, um, I have a pretty giant manga haul um, today, so I'm pretty excited. I don't know if I will get through all of it, it really depends on how long this takes because I don't want this to be like 40 minutes long. Um, all throughout January I've been collecting stuff as it's come in through the mail and I have like five boxes and then I have a couple of bags of things, so it's a lot. But I say that we just get into this. So, um, most of my boxes are from Crunchyroll. Um, I've kind of switched to completely ordering from Crunchyroll. Um, I do have one Amazon package, but I'm trying to, to make bigger orders. So, um, my first one is, it's not super big. A lot of this I ordered a long time ago, so I don't know. I can't even remember a lot of the stuff that I've ordered now, so... We'll see what's in here. I do love how the roll packages their boxes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, they were wrapped up. That was a bubble. I was just about to open it. It's really good. It's wrapped, but I like it. Really protected. Oh, that looks like a bubble too. Okay, and then the last. This one's also wrapped. Okay. So it looks like there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things in this box. Spine's going the right way. Okay. So, this was a Crunchyroll like discount. And now that I'm looking at it, that was a great deal. I got Free Rand Volume 6 through 9. So, what a great deal. I really am like impressed by this deal. I think this was $20. And. <laughs> I got four volumes of free rent, so that's awesome. Um, I love this series. Eat. I'll be right back because I just remembered I got a really cool um, free rent stand and I gotta show you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I had two stands sort of come in and I didn't unbox them on camera, but I gotta show you guys. This free rent one is super cute. She's like sitting next to the free rent volumes on my shelf. And I got a Zorro to go with the like the collection that I have over there of all of them and they're like traditional Japanese clothing. So yeah, I got those two standing figures and they're so cute. Um, okay, let's see what else is in there. Um, Sweetness and Lightning, volume four. I really love this series. Um, somebody told me it goes to like 11 I think so I'm still have I still have a lot of enjoyment left to go in this series so that's awesome but I really love it it's so cute let's see what sort of food they're making in this one Ooh, sweet potato crepes beef stew is like curry similar to curry but okay um and then there's two other things I have the villains villains are destined to die Volume 5. Um, 
she's in jail right now, which is kind of crazy, so I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. Um, I really do recommend this series. The art is so pretty and it's very colorful. Um, the whole thing is in color. And I've read a couple of color manhwas now, and this is my favorite art style and like coloring wise one. I just think it's gorgeous, so I really recommend this. Um, and then the last in there is The Summer Hikaru Died, Volume 2. I loved Volume 1 of The Summer Hikaru Died, so like as soon as I finished it, I made this order. And it's very, very good. Um, it is about these two friends and one summer the, one of the boys disappears in the mountains and he comes back and his friend realizes that it's not him. It's like he had died and some creature, we don't know very much yet, um, took over his body and is like agreeing not to kill him because they are friends, but it's really dark, but it's very good. So here is volume two. Okay, let's go on. This box is pretty big. Um, this one is from Crunchyroll also. There's some big ones in here, but it's packaged really nice. Thank you, Crunchyroll. Um, there are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 things in here. That's a lot. I didn't realize I made this figure in order lately. It must have been like end of December. Um, maybe I'll just pull them out. I don't want to see them, but it's also really awkward to hold this box in my lap. Okay. Goodbye, box. Uh, let's start with- oh, yay! Um, this is Akane Banashi, Volume 2. I absolutely loved Volume 1. It was so good. I think it might be my favorite Volume 1 that I've read ever. Um, it's so good. Um, I really do highly recommend this series. I know I've talked about it quite a bit now, um, but it's about Rakugo, which is like kind of a Japanese art of comedy, kind of. Um, but it's super good, so I really recommend it. I really want to read this one, like, right now. <laughs> okay, um, next is Subaki Cho Lonely Planet, Volume 5. Um, I just read Volume 4 not too long ago. And I want their relationship to like move along. <laughs> she really likes her sensei that she works for, but um, volume four, it was not a whole lot happened. So I love this series though. The art is gorgeous. I'm just like really rooting for these two. <laughs> so I want to, I want more to happen with them. So here's volume five. Um, next is Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. Volume 7. I wasn't so sure how I felt about Toilet Bound Hanako Kun at first, but it's very good. Like, it's kind of like an exaggerated art style, kind of like Soul Eater. It reminds me of that, kind of, in a way. But I love it. Like, all of the blacks are very black. And it, the art is very, like, exaggerated. And it's just, it's really good. And the covers are, like, almost always completely beautiful. Here is volume seven. Um, next is The Promised Neverland volume nine. This is my favorite cover for Promised Neverland that I've seen so far from what I've read. Um, they're in a town, well, just Emma. She's in this little town called um, Goldie Pond right now. And this storyline has gotten so good and so like, so, I like, there's a lot of suspense going on, so I wasn't so sure. Um, I was like kind of wondering what was gonna go on with Promise Neverland for a while for a couple of the volumes, but it is amazing at the time of volume <laughs> eight. eight. Volume eight was amazing, and I'm super excited to read volume nine because I really, really loved volume eight. So here is Promise Neverland. All right. Um, Kaiju number eight, 
volume 7. I really do like this series. It's a fast read though. I swear I read volume 6 in like 20 minutes. Um, it just went very quick, but that's not a bad thing because it helps you get through some more manga, right? Because I'm reading a lot of manga, so it's helpful. Um, this volume looks really good. I don't know where it is right now in its release schedule, but I feel like I'm at least getting somewhat closer. So there is volume 7. Um, next is Imakoi volume 4. The series is very cute. I really enjoy it. It's just like a sweet romantic story. So I really like it. Um, next is Trojan X Volume 3. I went into Trojan X with really low expectations because I really love Tokyo Ghoul, but it's not as good as Tokyo Ghoul, but it's not, it's not bad. So, so I really, I really liked Volume 2 quite a bit more than I liked Volume 1. So I'm excited for Volume 3 actually because I didn't exactly love how it started, but I liked Volume 2 a lot. So here's Volume 3. Um, so I'm 100, Volume 10. Can't believe I'm already on Volume 10. I really love Psalm 100. It's one of my favorites to get to, um, just because I like to see what sort of situation they're going to get in, and it's always good. So there's volume 10. Um, here is Tokyo Revengers volumes 11 and 12. Um, it says the Christmas Showdown. So I think this just got animated. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm on a volume 11, 12. I love Tokyo Revengers. It doesn't disappoint. <laughs> um, it's good every time. Um, even though sometimes I'm like, oh god, it's gonna take forever to read like 400 pages of Tokyo Revengers. It really goes really fast. Um, and it's really interesting. So here is volume 9 or 11. Um, here's Hell's Paradise, volume 6. I really also love Hell's Paradise. Uh, this cover is pretty. Um, it's gotten crazy. I know Hell's Paradise is over, and I think I'm about halfway. So, or I guess a little less than because I haven't read this one yet. But it's really good. Um, I don't like. Uh, I want to know, but I'm not gonna look too much because it's special. <laughs> okay. Um, next is from Barnes & Noble. I haven't come prepared for my manga unboxing for a while. <laughs> I always forget my little sword and have to resort to ripping. Okay, uh, there's three things in here. I think this is my most recent order, or up there, because I've read these very recently. Um, I got Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Edition, Volume 2. I just finished Volume 1, and I was going to order it on Crunchyroll like I have been everything else, but it's sold out on Crunchyroll, and it's also sold out on Amazon. Um, so I got it on Barnes & Noble. And it, I paid the full twenty dollars, but I really wanted it. So here's volume two with Alphonse on the cover. I love it. Volume one was really good. It was really close to the anime, so I was able to like really remember and like revisit the story that I remembered. So I'm curious to see if it stays close to it the entire time or not. Um, it is very close in quality to the Soul Eater Perfect Editions. It is like magazine quality pages. It seems to be printed like very similar. It's very beautiful, um, high quality. So here's volume two. It is my Gently Raised Beast, volume 
four. The series is kind of ridiculous because of her romance with the Lake Panther. Um, but it's still good. Um, you just kind of got to accept that it's a little weird. But it's beautiful. Um, it's not as beautifully drawn as um, Villains Are Destined to Die, but it's probably my like second favorite of the like colored manhwas that I've wa that I've watched that I've read. Um, it's more like pastel and like bright, but it's very good. So here's volume four. All right, my last one for that order is Frau Foss. Volume 3. I didn't really like Volume 1 and I did enjoy Volume 2 so I need Volume 3 as like a <laughs> like to see if it's actually good or if I don't like it or not but I did like Volume 2 so it should be good. Um, it's only five volumes long so I'm like I'm already on Volume 3 I need to like finish this story I need to know what happens. So here is Volume 5 or 3. Not volume five, volume three. Okay, um, I know what this is. There's cat hair on it. It is from Amazon, and it's just a single volume. And I'm super excited for it. It is Dawn to Dawn volume six. I am so so excited for the Dawn to Dawn anime. Like, if it does the manga, like, even a little bit of its justice, it's gonna be so good. Um, oh, this looks super, super awesome. I love Dawn to Dawn. I really want to read this one. Okay. Um, I do have more. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up putting it in a second video or saving it until I have more stuff come in because I. This video is already getting pretty long. Um, my last order is from, where is this from? It says MF Logistics. I'm trying to think of where I ordered this from. I think this might be Crunchyroll. I think it's Crunchyroll. Um, it is two figures um, and one volume. Um, which is The Apothecary Diaries, Volume 5. I love Apothecary Diaries. My box is closing. I really want to binge this like every time I look at it, but I can't. So there is Volume 5. Okay. Um, I have two figures. They are both like sitting figures. I figured they would look good with my power figure. I got a sitting Dungey and Puchita and a Makima figure. So let's do this. These were both, yeah, from Crunchyroll, I believe. And it says Chainsaw Man Break Time Collection Volume 1. So is it Makima's Break Time Collection 2? I don't think so. All right. I don't want to ruin the box. So, and a little triangle. <laughs> Goodbye, box. You are so cute. I am expecting him to be small because my power figure was. Which is separate for now. Oh, cute. Oh. How is it? Okay. It's supposed to. Looks like his butt goes down. That's pretty cute. Okay. Here is the dingy and Puchita figure. It's 
really cute. I like him. Okay. And Makima. So she's just one of those cute little figures that have their feet sticking off the ledge. In scale, she's a little bit smaller than Denji. Alright, so that was my haul. I had 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 22 things. Um, I think I am gonna save the rest for another video because I, I, it's already vlog. So, um, I do have some exciting stuff though for my next haul. Um, but thanks for watching this. Um, if you've read anything cool that's came out recently, let me know because I'm always looking for new stuff to read. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.